To import a work from the Digital Commons at Malloy, first log into your profile, then click Add New. There is the option at the bottom that says Digital Commons. You can also go to Scholarship and do Import from Online Sources. In this field, you want to type in your full name and click Search. This will show everything affiliated with the author name in Digital Commons and show potential duplicates when something is already available on your profile. This article from 2024 is the one that I'm looking for, so I clicked on that. The first screen you see will match up the authors with both external and internal authors that are already in the profile system. You can leave the external ones alone or try to match them up um, if you know what they are, but the important one is the internal author, in this case, Elizabeth Sutter. Scrolling down the organizational units, you actually want to get rid of anything that's not Malloy or not the department for that specific internal author. In this case, I know that's not a journal match. I can't remove it here, but I will remove it on the next screen. So after you review the screen, click import and review the blue button at the bottom. Now this screen looks like your normal submission form, so once again, you want to check all of the information. First up top, you want to ch check to make sure that the template is correct. This is an article. Check uh, peer-reviewed or not peer-reviewed, the date, the language, the authors. Very important to make sure the affiliations are correct, the um, managing organizational unit. In this case, I know that the journal is incorrect, so I will remove that, but first I need to double check that information, so I click on show and that brings me to the link for the article on the publisher's website. And I can see all of the information here for that particular article. So I know the volume number now, I know the issue number, I will remove the incorrect journal, click add journal, and start typing in microorganisms and it's already in the system, so I can click that. Something else that I noticed uh, from the import is that the document version didn't come up correctly. This is an open access publication, so I updated that. Going back to the publisher's website, I'm looking for the CC license because I know there is one, but it didn't come over on the import. So I went to the Digital Commons link instead, and there it is, it's CC BY. That is also something important to check when you're doing an import from anywhere. So I will fix this on both of the links. So once again, this is the Digital Commons link. I wanna make sure it says open, it's the correct document version, and the CC license is listed. The preference for these is that the Digital Commons link is on top. So I just clicked the arrow to move that up. And then scrolling down some other fields you can add are keywords and disciplines, even though those are not required fields. If you are done, select for approval and then remember to click save. If you want to double check your work, just go back to your profile. You can click on one of the scholarship items, sort by modification date and then the first one at top should be the article you just added and you can see that it's labeled as for approval and if you click on it you'll see all the information that you just added and then just click save again if you wanted to add the keywords at a later date or add the disciplines you can always do that to close out click the x at top not the x at the bottom the red x would delete it